Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today I'm going to try to see if I can't quiet down the fuel pump prime on the 67 Mustang. When I installed the Sniper EFI setup on the Mustang, we used the Master Kit from Holly. Now, the Master Kit includes a Walbro 255 fuel pump that has always been a little noisy on this car. It's definitely noisy when it fuel primes, but it also can be noisy while it's running. And I don't think that's quite right. I'm not sure if the fuel pump has a problem or if that's just the way the 255s are. But the first thing I'm going to do to try to change it is I'm going to change out the fuel pump for a Deechworks 9-1000. If nothing else, this will give me an idea of how much of the noise is the fuel pump itself and how much of the noise is just the configuration of the system. So let's go ahead, get back there, install the pump, and see what the difference is. Well, there's a definite sound difference between the DW9-1000 and the Walbro 255. Now, I actually prefer this DW9-1000. It's a lot higher pitched, but it's quieter, and it doesn't seem to make any noise when it's running, whereas the Walbro, you could hear it idle while the car was running, which was a little annoying. So I'm going to be leaving the Deechworks in this car. When I really get down to it, I probably can't make it totally silent without changing out some of the hard lines I've got for soft lines because I think a lot of it is the vibration and the resonance of the noise of the fuel tank traveling down those hard lines. So I may not be able to get it totally silent with my system the way it's set up, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. Now, if you're going to replace the Walbro 255 that came with the master kit from Holly, you do need to keep in mind that the 9-1000 is slightly smaller on the outlet, so you do need to use a rubber hose instead of the hard formed hose that is provided with a sniper kit. And you'll also need to use some new zip ties or readjust things on how they fit. The original sock that's on the Walbro 255 is also significantly larger than what's on the DW9-1000. 
And so actually the 9-1000 is a much easier system to get in and out of the tank, but may not pick up fuel quite as cleanly as the Walboro did. The next thing I might try on this is also adding one of the um, absorbent mat socks to the fuel pump that would actually wick up fuel. That might also give me a little more padding, a little more quiet, as well as making sure that my pump always has fuel supplied to it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.